It's a good thing this new Batman doesn't use guns. Because I think it would have shot me by now with all these leaks. Warner Brothers might use guns though. Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. We got an update on the Batman. This will probably be the last major leak I do just because things are starting to get too real in the leak department for the Batman. And I'm still a Batman shilling fanboy, so I kind of want to be surprised for this thing. But we are going to discuss this photo that landed online of a victim of the Riddler pointing to a very dark Batman movie. Other closer photos of the Batsuit that give us a look at the gadgets on this new Robert Pattinson Batman suit. That is so much more, guys. So be sure you're hitting that like button until it turns blue. There's a very good chance this video will be taken down. So make sure you comment down below if you made it on time or your thoughts on everything we're about to share. All right, we're going to start with the Coupe de Gras, the whole reason you most likely clicked on this video. This picture of a Riddler victim that landed online. I'm not going to show it in the video. <laughs> okay, okay, I know. That's why you clicked here. It's not clickbait. On a completely unrelated note, I have a Facebook group in the description of this video. I like to share things behind the scenes, Funko Pop stuff, leaked images, just things, nothing related to the Batman. Or heck, maybe you were one of those individuals who just happened to already see the image online. So let's talk about it. Basically, this photo of a Riddler victim is a man sitting in a chair, a very familiar chair that we'll talk about in a second. He's had a suit and tie on, looks like a regular dude. It is a low quality image taken secondhand off a screen monitor, very similar to a screen monitor used while filming in a movie or playing back footage. From what I can tell, it looks like his face was wrapped in duct tape. If not, it could be a plastic bag. Obviously suffocated and no longer breathing. With some words written all over the face, the only one I can make out is the word lies right on top of the mouth. When I first saw this picture online, I thought to myself, I don't believe this is real. The Batman security is pretty dang tight. Whoever did manage to take this picture and post it online, I bet you they're not breathing anymore. They're sitting in Arkham Asylum next to Clayface and Two-Face. But the thing that stood out to me that, oh my god, this could actually be legitimate is the chair that the victim is sitting in is the exact same chair where Matt Reeves posted his beginning of filming the Batman. It is the exact same chair. If someone faked this photo, they went through a whole lot of trouble to find the exact seat and fool all of us fans are lying. But like my ongoing theory is, Warner Brothers is loving all these little leaks because it's getting fans like me to talk about it and spread awareness of this movie and hype you up by giving you little crumbs when you know they're gonna deliver the whole pie come next year. But the thing that gets my goosebumps really flowing about this photo is that this Riddler is not joking around, man. We got a little bit used to the Jim Carrey Riddler where he was very goofy, outlandish, fun for the time. I enjoyed him as a kid, not gonna lie. But in this newer age of things going dark and gritty, I want me a Riddler who is terrifying. We've had a rumored report that I didn't want to talk about because like I said, I only want to talk about things I feel legitimate on the channel, not just spread nonsense. And that report stated that the Riddler in this movie is being described almost like Jigsaw from the movie Saw, where this Riddler will be setting up traps for his victims in a Saw-like fashion, where Batman or the person in the trap has to find a way out of it through riddles, rhymes, puzzles. It really reminds me of the Arkham Asylum games, most specifically specifically Arkham Knight, where it was very reminiscent to the Riddler levels and how you had to escape from him in that video game. And this photo that landed online really points to that, man. A person who was suffocated by a bag left in their chair with a riddle on their face for someone to find later? That is classic Jigsaw, or that is classic Riddler, I should say. As for the person in the chair could be, I'm pretty much assuming that this was shot when the first leaked photos of the set of Batman were released online, where there was police cars, news vehicles, the big murder that happens in Gotham that leads Batman into this detective rampage to find out who did it. So I'm assuming the person in the chair is the mayor, and looks like he had a dirty little secret where the Riddler thought he needed to take care of him. But the word lies written on top of the victim makes me feel like he found the mayor a hypocrite, was hiding something, was doing something wrong for the people of Gotham, and in Riddler's own way was trying to expose him to the people. Now a lot of us who have seen the picture will also probably think, what if this Batman movie's rated R? And boy oh boy... Fingers crossed, I would absolutely love one. I highly doubt it. If I had to put a percentage on it, I'd actually put 2% chance that it would be rated R. But it makes me feel like they are going to push the limitations of PG-13 pretty hard on this. It kind of reminded me in The Dark Knight where you had Heath Ledger's Joker sort of torturing that one person who was a wannabe Batman, the guy who was wearing hockey pads. That moment in The Dark Knight is very dark, gruesome, and could lean a little on the rated R side, so maybe that's what they're going for. 
all throughout the movie with this Riddler, especially if he has traps set up. Paul Dano, who's been cast as the Riddler, I think is going to fit that role perfectly. I just hope we get a lot of banter and interaction. And I can't wait for a scene where the Riddler gets Batman into a trap and we're finally going to see his detective skills put to work. Can you just imagine how amazing of a scene that'll be where you're just watching Batman escape from a Riddler trap with ease? Oh, I need this movie! But again, sorry for not showing you this photo right here in the video, guys. I just knew it would be taken down by Warner Brothers because everywhere else I've seen it, it's been taken down. But if you're really looking for it, you can find it. One other cool thing that's been happening since the Batman has been filming overseas, we've gotten more and more photos of this stunt double as Batman prime fighting in Gotham City, and some further close-ups of the suit really reveal some interesting gadgets that they've decided to put on the Batman. For one, this Batman is a fan of an Apple Watch, or he's built his own smartwatch. It is no surprise right here to me that this Batman would have some sort of high-tech watch on him. The only thing that comes to mind is, who is he communicating with on that watch because you know there's someone in the bat cave taking orders my main guess is that it is going to be andy circus who is playing alfred in this movie taking orders in the bat cave where batman says oh i need my chopper i need this i need that can you find the schematics the blueprints the classic batman asking stuff not to mention if this batman is also going to be gadget heavy with the way he's looking lately you know he's got some bat trackers on him so that could also be a gps device I really don't mind the Batman getting gadget heavy. In fact, I encourage it just because it feels like lately he hasn't been that way on the big screen. But also, not too over-reliant because this is Batman and you're promising us a detective Batman. I really want to see his skills be put to the test if his gadgets aren't working because if he just doesn't have the suit, what is he? In this other photo, we get to see some tubes under Batman's arm. Now, those have to be used for gas purposes to fill up a room with smoke. Or maybe, heck, this Batman could be a heavy vapor, all right? It's the times. Everyone's vaping. Maybe the baddies, too. Obviously, some people pointing out, or he could be using fear toxin. I don't think they would have Batman use fear toxin without introducing the Scarecrow first. So maybe in a later movie, if the Scarecrow is introduced, he can use scare toxin there. But if not, I'm just assuming that's for him to get around or to trick his enemies. I hope it's not a flamethrower. That'd be kind of weird having Batman throw some flames. One thing for sure I had to share with you guys is so we know we got those photos of Batman on the bat bike. Well, you know me being a big Batman fan and all excited. I decided to show my girlfriend, oh, look at these leaked set photos and the Batman pants and doesn't look awesome here i'm thinking she's gonna be all excited and happy with it and she ruins it for me every time she took one look at the photo and said wouldn't batman die if he hit the brakes too fast and my mind was completely blown for a man who's supposed to be a very smart detective you did not design your bat bike with the best intentions but that is just how blinded of a batman fan i am like oh okay that looks like something the batman would ride because it has the years not thinking to myself i don't think we'd ever approve that my point is she's not going opening weekend with me now so Spots available, guys. But it still is the gauntlet and those needles on there and what they could be used for that I'm most interested in. I also do like how he has the holster there for his grapple gun. A lot of people were saying he was going to use an actual gun in this movie. Come on, guys. They're not going to do this to us. They've heard the fans. They know what we complain about. We don't want Batman that kills us. I don't want that either. They're really not going to mess it up so fast where they're going to have him using an actual gun. The only big thing left out of the Batman that I just really want to see is this dang Batmobile. There were set photos where people thought it was a Batmobile. Even I fell for it, but it was just a camera rig car. It looks like all the outside stuff that was being filmed overseas was just him chasing people on his bike. It could be that the Batmobile stuff will be filmed indoors in a large sound stage. But either way, this will probably be my last big leak video because I don't want to continue spoiling the Batman for myself. I still want to be surprised. I want to enjoy this thing when it comes out. I'm sure a lot of you people out there do too. So any major plot details or huge spoilers in the movies, I'm not going to go ahead and be talking about them only if they show maybe the Batman mobile on a set leak or it's an actual publicized confirmed casting or details that warner brothers themselves release that they want people to talk about i'll probably go ahead and do videos on that but you guys joining me on this leak journey i appreciate all you bad fans out there but we got a year and a half of this movie we gotta pace ourselves. But be sure you guys let me know down below how you feel about all this stuff coming online. What do you think of that picture if you did get to see it? What can you make out of it? Also, how do you feel about all these other gadgets that we're seeing on the Batman? Anything and everything, you guys go ahead and leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris.
Take care.